Hello YouTube. It's time for the monthly stats. Let's do it. This month we generated 924.8 kilowatt hours. So that's pretty good going. Not as good as the previous month, but not bad considering we had a big spell of rainy weather in the middle of the month. More about that later. Okay, so here is a graph of our generation split by inverter as usual. Uh, and again, Solax is making up the majority. Um, the GrowWatt 2 is now um, you know, quite a lot smaller than the GrowWatt 1 even though it's got twice the size of array because they're vertically mounted panels and uh, yeah at this time of year now the sun is so high that the eaves of the house cast a shadow across the top of all of the panels uh, which causes them to you know the output to drop significantly uh, but that's fine because I get so much from the other panels at this time of year it doesn't really matter these vertical panels are mostly to help me out in the winter months when the sun's much lower we did a pretty good job of keeping most of the power that we generated in this month. 81% uh, of it we managed to use, which means we uh, only had to export 19%. Now some of the days are so long and so sunny, just run out of places to put the power. Uh, all the batteries end up full and the cars end up full and there's just nowhere else to put it. So it gets exported. Um, no way around that other than to have bigger batteries. Unfortunately, we imported 53 kilowatt hours of electricity from the grid. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video uh, about uh, how we end up having to import energy even though we're running entirely off batteries, uh, check out the link at the end of uh, this video for uh, my uh, video about why that happens with uh, grid type battery storage systems. But yep, there's a small amount of import even when you're running off batteries and that all adds up over the month and consequently we have imported uh, 53 kilowatt hours. So as a total of our energy mix for the month that makes up just 6% of uh, our total energy. Um, the other 94% or so uh, is all um, our own generated energy. Um, it's usually hovers around 5% um, and as I've said in previous videos there's not a huge amount I can do about that other than to go completely off grid uh, which is not really practical. Here are the daily graphs showing um, usage broken down into half hourly slots um, and as you can see for most of the month as like the previous month they are all flat empty uh, meaning we're not pulling anything from the grid. Unfortunately, until we get to the 20th of June, where we had been having uh, a bad spell of weather for about four days. It was just continuously raining and grey. And we ran off the batteries for as long as we possibly could, but we just got to the point where there was just nothing left in any of the batteries. And the cars got too empty, and my wife needed to get to work on Monday, and we had to charge the car overnight from the grid and the same for the following day and then there was a bit of uh, pulling in the day after that as well and so there endeth our off-grid streak which lasted for a total of 70 days um, I was really sad that it finally ended I wanted to keep it running through the whole summer but the weather is the weather and uh, things like this happen. Uh, yeah, we could have potentially pulled our belts in really tight if we if we really were determined to make it all the way through. Uh, we could have done all the washing up by hand and that would have saved some power instead of using the dishwasher. We could have um, curbed the kids' use of their games consoles uh, and all those sort of things, but that's not the point. The idea was to try and live normally and really just see how how well we last um, 
uh, with the solar that we produce each day and what we can store in the batteries. The 1st of June was the best day of the month. We generated uh, 51 and a half kilowatt hours that day, which is just amazing. Uh, was that also your best day? Um, certainly down here in the south, the beginning of the month was very sunny. The worst day was on the 18th of June and we generated just 5.7 uh, kilowatt hours that day. Um, this was during those days of uh, intense rain that uh, ended our, our off-grid streak. So now let's have a look where all the power got used. Well, 9% of it went in the uh, Mitsubishi PHEV. Uh, 17, nearly 18% went in the Nissan LEAF. 17% uh, or so went to heating the hot water. Uh, gaming takes up 12%. Um, and uh, the washing machine took a, a small amount. And um, the rest of the energy, yeah, 31% went on other things. That will mostly be the oven and the fridge and freezer. And the TV but quite happy about how much I managed to put into the hot water. That obviously saves uh, burning gas to heat the hot water. Um, and so um, that uh, uh, saves carbon and obviously saves us money. Okay, that's it for uh, another month. Um, some interesting stats there. Shame that the uh, streak came to an end, but 70 days is pretty good. And we're starting a new streak now. Let's see how long we can keep this one going. Please do uh, like, comment, uh, share this video, subscribe to my channel and um, check out my uh, Twitter feed from my automation system. Here's a link here. It, uh, it tweets a couple of things each day. Um, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.